I don't know what we're going to do without you brokering our art. Just time for a change. Hmm. That I can understand. Nothing like starting out fresh, huh? Yep. Which reminds me, now that we're no longer business associates, how about that dinner? Does your wife know that you're being such a bad boy? Uh, Ex-wife. There have been some changes in my life, too. I am sorry. Oh, don't be. We're both happier. So, how about it? Uh, thanks, Ron. But after my divorce, I promised myself some alone time. No dating, just me getting to know myself. Well, when you get to know yourself well enough... You'll be on the top of my list. I don't want to take over someone else's image. Image is what boutiques sell. I know. But I want to find something that I can really sink my teeth into. Something I can make my own. Maybe it doesn't even need to be a boutique. It's best to go with what you know. There's still the gallery idea. Artists. Rich uh -uh. man. No, no, no. One rich man was enough. A hundred thousand dollars isn't going to buy a lot when you're shopping for an established business. Then let's find one that's not so established. One I can grow. Are you still opposed to sales? If I have to travel. Madge, I moved here a year ago. And I've been gone so much that Toulouse is starting to think that the kennel's his home. I just want to settle in. Make some new friends. Eventually find a new relationship. Once I get a better sense of who I am and what I want. Well, I'll get this. You're deductible. All right. Okay. I will find you a business. But as for a relationship, my advice is um, lovers, younger, trainable. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. 
Look, I wish I could remember more. It was dark. All I could see were his eyes. They were brown. I'm sure of that. His mouth. His race? I don't know. His body was covered. What about his voice? You have an accent? Maybe, I don't know. He whispered. But his breath. Bad. Oh, God. Like something rotting. Dead. His whole body smelled like that. Anything else? It was him, wasn't it? The north side rapist. I can't be sure. What number am I? Well, if he's the one who attacked you, 15. It's still out there. No, there are never any eyewitnesses. And the few times someone spotted a suspicious vehicle, it's never the same. Anything? Cell phone. Fingerprint dust. <laughs> Leave it. Oh, come on, it won't take I'll long. do it! Look, I need to. So are you okay? Find him. We will. Just find him. We'll get him. And remember, victim saving. <laughs> Ellen! Oh my god, I'm so sorry. No, 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 I'm the one who should apologize for startling you. You all right? I'm fine. Got it. Madge, I'd, I'd like to meet... Ron, Ron Felden. I used to buy every piece of art this woman found. She's got great taste. Tell me about it. But how are you going to call me if you can't remember my name? Ron, I'm sorry. I, I've just been under the weather. Well, when the uh, sun comes out, give me a call. Nice meeting you. Detective Duvall, please. Ellen Collier? Detective, I listen. You know that woman you wanted me to talk to a few weeks ago? Listen, I know. I know I refused. I think I'm ready now. Yeah. If only Tom hadn't gone to the store. If only I'd gotten up and locked the door. Mrs. Gunner. My babies. They were in the next room. 
I couldn't scream or fight. We understand. And I'm sorry to make you go through all this again, but I just thought if, if you and Miss Collier here could compare your experiences, you might... His breath. And the taste. I brushed until my gums were bleeding. Mouthwash, soap, nothing works. Thank you, Mrs. Gurner. We'll be going now. Don't, don't, don't you want some coffee? I forgot the coffee. I'm sorry. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be all right. I'm unit 17. Oh, nice to meet you. Ditto. Could you do me a huge favor? I've got this job interview that I am totally late for, and I wanted to, you know, do something with my hair while my blouse is drying, because I, I just spilled chocolate all over it. So could you, could you, are you going to be here for a couple minutes? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Please don't go right now. Pardon me, you wouldn't have enough change for a dollar, would you? No, no, sorry. Here, have one on me. I can do that. I insist. Well, the condos are as nice as the neighbors. This might just be the place. How do you like it here? It's fantastic. Especially if you're um, into golf. Yeah. Fairway out your back door, that's sure a plus, huh? You golf? No, no, not really, no. Uh, now and then. It's time for the 10-cent tour, huh? Thanks for the info. Sure. And the drink. Are you okay? Yeah, I just... Listen, ever since the break-in... Hey, thanks for not leaving me alone. With him? Are you kidding? That suit, very nice. And the aftershave. <laughs> not my type. If he was my neighbor, I would be borrowing a lot of sugar. Go for it. Job first, then sex. Yeah, I know what you mean. You gonna be okay? Yeah. Thanks. See ya. See ya. Hi. I will not be afraid of life. I will not be afraid of life. Remember me? You bought me a soda last month. Hi. Hi. Jerry Braskin. Listen, if you ever need a detailing job done on your car, you just call me, okay? Free. Oh, great. Hey, thanks. Anytime. Call me. I know it takes time, but it's been two months. Well, how am I supposed to run a business if I jump every time a customer walks in? I have to jump, get jump. Who cares? I keep telling myself, you claim your life, and then another week goes by. Let me tell you something. Your whole life's going to go by, not to mention your money, if you don't start to take hold. I'm trying. How? By sitting at home feeling sorry for yourself? Problem here? Yes, I can still see the spots. Here, here, here. We don't even have this detail, which we can do, of course, it'll cost. No, thank you. Not today. Yes, ma'am. Now, Ellen, I 
I'm so sorry. I didn't know. How could you? If there's anything I can do. Just keep being my friend. You got it. But I have to tell you, as your friend, mm -hmm. unless you plan on becoming a hermit. Oh, God, I hope not. Or, or take ugly pills. You better get used to men being attracted to you. I know. And I'm fine about it in the abstract. But the thought of going out on a date... Well, so ease into it then. I mean, what about somebody you already know, like um, this Ronald guy? Mm. Okay. And how about a non-date? Someone who is strictly business. Mr. Fine Point Auto Detailing. How did I know you were going to say that? <laughs> Excuse me. Crazy. Hello? 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 God, I hate that. But you know what I hate even more? What? The fact that I'm still afraid. Come on, let's go. Yes, let's go! I want to thank you for giving me a chance to repay. What are those for? It's a loaner. Your car's gonna be in the shop until tomorrow, so. That will be great. So did you find your condo yet? No, no not yet. I'm still looking. Um, can I bring it by your place tomorrow? That's okay, I'll pick it up. Well, listen, I go to church in your neighborhood, St. Mary's, the choir practice. It's on my way. It's really no trouble at all. Hmm. Do you sing? In my shower. <laughs> you know, a bunch of us go out for lunch after service on Sunday. It'd be great if you'd join us. Okay. Great. See you tomorrow. my parents made me go to church with. You're not leaving, are you? Yes, I am. I have a date. But there's no reason for you guys to leave. I have some news. Why don't you say you finish your coffee? Yeah, I'll call you tomorrow, okay, Alan? Jerry? So long. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. So long. <clears throat> Ellen, uh, I hope you won't take this wrong. It's just not often I, I meet a, a woman, a single woman, who shares my values and... <sighs> I'm sorry, I, I didn't want to make you feel uncomfortable. But you've been very kind. It really has nothing to do with you. Well, whatever it is, I hope it doesn't keep you away from St. Mary's. Well, thanks for understanding. Sure. Hope to see you soon. Some sicko. Look, I understand how upset. Do you? I'm sorry. There's just no connection I can see between the hang up in this or between this or our guy. Not from his MO. He's never come back for a victim. There's always a first time. Ellen, despite how you feel, I think you have to take what Detective Duval said at face value. The odds are it's not him. Why would some kids pick me? Maybe it was random, some nasty coincidence. Ellen, Ellen, listen, your friends are right. You're on the right track. I know a call like this is scary, but you don't want it to inhibit your life or your relationship with Jerry. We're just friends. I understand. All I'm saying is I think your instincts are sound. Being friends, especially with a man, at this point in your recovery, I can't think of a better way for you to ease back into your life. Okay? Okay.
Jerry about last night. Yeah. I, I hope I didn't. The last thing I'd ever want to do is lead you on. Understand? Can I ask you a question, Emma? Sure. Is it me? No. It's me. No, Jerry. Why would you think that? I know my limitations, Ellen. You know. I know cars, you know, because I grew up poor and that's all I learned. But any other education, I just came through what I read. It doesn't make any difference to those corporate types. It doesn't matter to them that, that I, you know, I learn how to speak right. You know, I learn my manners. I learn how to dress, what car to drive, how to play golf. It doesn't matter to them. And all they see when I walk into those high-powered offices is just another low-level, blue-collared. I'm sorry. Sometimes I get carried away. No, it's all right. Jerry, are you angry with me? With you? No. Because, you know, I'm not one of those corporate types. I'm just not ready for a relationship. I just want to be friends. And I'd like that. And as your friend, I'd like to make a proposition. How about if I come down, take a look at your business plan, growth projections? <laughs> Why would you want to do that? Well, maybe I can help. Jerry, you know cars and I know business. All I want is enough money so I can buy a condo. I don't have to live in a ratty little apartment. Maybe a house one day, get married, you know, but... Yeah? I just have a feeling it's not gonna happen. Why? The truth. If I could get my foot in the door, I don't... I don't think I'd know what to say. You can learn. Yeah, right. You can. Really? Look, I'll go home, change my clothes, I'll meet you downtown. We'll go through your books. Well, I guess that's a start, huh? Morning. Morning. So you made a new friend. He likes you. <laughs> Eat. He likes the food. The truth. Sit down. Make you some breakfast. Some bacon, some eggs, some potatoes. You're quite a cook. What's this? I try to learn a new word every day. Stay on top of things. How you feeling? The embarrassment doesn't count. Hey, come on, the couch was great. Well, almost great. You know, I was planning to be gone when you got up this morning, but uh, after Clara's call, I heard the machine. I thought maybe I should stick around. Hi, Ellen. Look, before you see it on TV or something, um, I just wanted to warn you that there was another rape last night. We'll talk later, all right? <laughs> I think I do. 
you. Look, Jerry, I, I don't even know how to start this. reason why I'm so scared all the time. I was raped. God. A couple of months ago. And I thought I was getting over it. But then I started getting these phone calls. Ellen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You think it's the guy? I don't know. I think so. The police don't. Do you recognize his voice or anything like that? No. When he was here, he whispered. But it's like he's following me. You know, like stalking? Hmm. You know what he said on the phone yesterday? Hmm. Love your backswing. Jerry, he's watching us. And now this, another rape. Listen, thanks for staying. So, thank you. It's nice to be trusted. I do trust you. I guess that makes it my turn, huh? Jerry, what? Ellen, I... I've been in jail. Not recently. Uh, when I was younger. Breaking and entering. I did two years, and... Uh, I've got no excuses. I, I did it, and I'm not proud of it. But I've been straight ever since I got out. And without the help of my friends and people like you and the church, it's just... I don't know what I would have done. But I don't want to lose you. You won't. It feels good. Listen, Jerry, I really have to get this over to the police. What, uh, what do you think they'll do? I don't know. But at least I have his voice on tape. Well, you were right. The police think he disguised his voice. Unless you want something to take your mind off your troubles, you can go over these figures with me. Wait a minute. Do you have an extra pair of these? First rule of consulting, understand the business. You want to watch us detail cars? No, I want you to teach me how. Yeah, there's an extra pair in the closet in the back. Knock yourself out. Great. Hi, how are you? What can we do for you? Is that a clear coat on here? Yeah. Why? Well, see these circles here? And here? Looks like somebody's broken through it with a buffer. And this makes sure you got multiple layers of factory paint on it. Can you fix it? Yeah. Can't do much about the fade, though. Take a look at the side. You see these cracks here on the dash? It's gonna happen to your seats soon, too. Man, I wish I'd heard about you guys sooner. Uh, you want us to fix it? Yeah, whatever it takes. Okay. Tell you what, why don't you go have a seat in my office, make yourself comfortable, I'll be right there. We'll talk about it. Very impressive. <laughs> Look at you. Yeah. Bud, Elroy, Hector, come over here, guys. I want to introduce you guys to our newest apprentice. This is Ellen. Hi. Make sure she gets her hands dirty. So dirty. Real dirty. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nice to meet you. I will never forget the look on their faces when they realized you were going to come to work with them. <laughs> Not to mention the look on yours. No lie. You are something else, you know that? Yes, well, so are you, Mr. I don't understand business. What do you mean? Jerry, even with this one small shop, from what I can tell, you're making money hand over fist. What other business do you know with a profit margin of almost 80%? Plus the potential for unlimited growth? What? That's just it. I know what I'm doing here. But beyond the business... Jerry, you already got the repo car account, right? And now I know where you get all those fancy loaners. Every job's got to have its perks, right? Yeah, well, the first thing we need to do is get you better insured. You see? You know about that stuff. Look... Every fella's got to know his limitations, Ellen. I know mine. What I need is a partner. I need somebody fronting for me. You know, representing the business. Jerry. I'm not asking you to do this as a friend. 
I never take advantage of you like that. What I need is a partner. How about it, huh? Come on, just consider. That's all I ask. It's not exactly what we had in mind, is it? <laughs> no. It's kind of appealing. Hey, it's something different. You hardly know this man. He's a friend. I trust him. Ellen, forgive me for reminding you, but in business, it's best to think with the head, not with the heart, or please don't take offense. Any other part of your anatomy? It's not like that. Have you checked him out? No, but I already know Well, fine. He served some time in jail when he was younger. For burglary. Come on, Madge, people can change. I gotta tell you, Madge, I was really nervous about meeting you. A woman of your years and experience. I'm going to take that as a compliment. Hello, me. It's deductible, right? Go pay the check. Let you ladies talk things over. At least he knows when to make himself scarce. Madge. Listen, a partnership is only as good as its partners. You really want to risk your limited capital on a business you know nothing about with a man who's already admitted being a convicted felon? Isn't that a little unfair? <laughs> Maybe. But why take the risk if you don't have to? Look, you want to be friends with this man or even lovers? He makes me uneasy, but fine. Just don't give him your money and sacrifice your independence. Call me. Ellen? I thought that was you. Hi, Ron. Uh, Jerry, Ron Felden, a business associate. Oh, I thought I was first on your list. I'll be calling you. Nice to meet you. You want to tell me what that was all about? He just wanted to ask me out. Don't worry, I'm not going. So what'd she say? Suspense is killing me. I knew it. She's just looking out for my welfare. Or her own. Come on, Ellen, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sure she's a terrific lady. But it's obvious. You go into business with me, she loses her finder's fee. Jerry, you've got to understand. This money's all I've got. And I can't afford to lose it by making a mistake. Aren't you going to check for fingerprints? Ma'am, that's already been done. I came as soon as I heard. Oh, my God. You see? You see what kind of a man he is? Who? Your convict. Look what he's done. You think Jerry... You told him what I said, didn't you? Didn't you? Yes, but I didn't... told you he had a Miss James, I'm going to take Miss Collier outside to talk. It would be helpful if you could just check to see if anything else is missing. What happened? Burglary. She lost a lot of jewelry, not to mention the house trash, the cat eviscerated. Oh, God. Certainly, you don't think Jerry. Well, he does have a record. I know, for breaking and entering when he was younger. He told me. Mm, not that much younger. He's only been off parole for 18 months. He didn't tell you we brought him in for questioning, did he? Should he have? Well, the fact that there are hard feelings between him and Miss James. Wait a minute, detective. It's Madge who has the hard feelings. I mean, it's a pretty big stretch between not getting along over lunch and what went on in there. Okay, I'm sorry. I know you're having a bad time of it, and I'm yes, just... Yes, I have. And one of the things that's helping me get through it is my friendship with Jerry. Okay? Okay. You just take care. Every time there's a break-in, a robbery, they round up the usual suspects, Ellen. It doesn't matter how good you've been doing. The cops, you know, people like Madge. The way they got it figured, once you're a criminal, you're always a criminal. I guess I just didn't want to embarrass you or drag you into my past. If you want to reconsider, you know, going into business with me or even being friends, I... Jerry, no. No. I should have told you. It's okay. It's okay. Please. I'm sorry.
she know? I think you've understanding. It's just the first time since. I know. I do understand. Don't go. I don't want to be afraid anymore. slow and you want me to stop at any time tell me okay okay Ellen hey what's up couldn't sleep Jerry, I'm just worrying. About what? How am I going to be able to mix a business with a personal relationship? No, I suppose I've got to choose between my wallet and my heart. No contest. Hey, look, Alan, I understand why you're concerned. You know, I think we're mature enough to work this thing out. Yeah. This was important to me. You know, the first time. I'm glad and I'm grateful it was with you, my friend. Listen, so, Ellen. All I want is for us to be happy. And for you to be safe. Jerry, I don't need protection. Oh, maybe I'm not saying it right. I just mean that, you know, with me trying to change my life and all, and this feeling between us, it just lets me know, it confirms that I'm on the right path, and that feels good. I just want you to know I'm always going to be there for you. Sorry, I wasn't here. Oh, baby. It's okay. No one's gonna hurt you. It's all right. That smell. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Sweaty. I was jogging. Ellen. Oh, come on, don't start imagining things. It's okay. Jerry, when am I gonna get over this? When you finally learn to let me take care of you. Okay. I mean, it's bad enough that I panicked and called the police. That was just embarrassing. What's worse, a lot worse, I can smell him, the rapist, as if you were right in the room. And then Jerry felt terrible, like he'd done something wrong, which he hadn't. He couldn't have been more loving and considerate. I know, but it's important that you not deny these feelings. Pay close attention to what evokes them. It could be that something that Jerry's doing inadvertently triggers the bad memories. Jerry, can I talk to you for a minute? What's up? According to the books, I have an extra 1100 Don't look at me. I've been filling out my invoices. Yeah, but has a boss? Don't you have something to do? What's that? 
for. It is hard enough keeping me respectable to running the show without you tearing me down in public, all right? Whoa. I'm not running the show, and I wasn't tearing you down. Look, if it seemed that way, I'm sorry. Maybe this is just one of those personal business complications that we need to work out. How about over dinner? I'm sorry. You hired a girl? A woman. In fact, someone you know. Who? Oh. Clara. Now what? I just don't think it's such a great idea hiring another woman, especially an attractive woman. It's gonna be disruptive to the guys, you know? Jerry, this is the 90s. And I think she's got the potential to run the second shop. Just feeling a little edgy, I guess. Don't let my personal problems affect the business. They affect us. Then we just feel safer if we moved in together. Probably. But where I need to feel safer is on my own. I'll at least take this, okay? It's the key to my part. Anytime you feel spooked in your place, day or night, you come over. Okay. You promise? I promise. scared about what the fear can do to my life if I let it. Well, what about living with Jerry? Maybe that would help. Uh, maybe. But do I really want to be driven into a relationship by fear? So, Ellen, if you weren't so afraid, would Jerry be the one? That's what I'm trying to find. Ellen? Shh. What is it? Somebody's outside. Listen, don't hang up. If I yell, please call them. Just call them now, Ellen. No, I can't be crying wolf every time I hear something. Who is it? Ellie? It's okay, it's Jerry. I'll call you back. What happened to our signal? Jerry! Oh my god! What happened? What exactly were you doing out on the golf course? Like I told you, I got here, I got out of my car and I ran toward Ellen's. When I got close, I saw a a man, a figure, a shadow, looking in the windows of a door. Can you describe him? I mean, was he tall? Was he really short? He was tall. Um, he was wearing a, uh, a look of cutout, a ski mask, and a black gloves, you know, um, dark clothes, I think. And then what happened? Well, he took off. He ran, hopped the fence, and went toward the golf course. So I chased him. Um, before I got around the corner, I don't know, he must have had a tire iron or something. So the next thing I knew, I woke up and I was soaking wet. Detective? Excuse me. What'd you find? I have a check for blood. Are there any tracks? How are you feeling? Okay. Like a suspect again. Thanks. Well, from the description, it sounds like the same guy. The question is why he's targeting you. No, the question is, what are you going to do about catching him? We're working on it. But until we do, if I were you, I'd change my phone number. Unlisted. That's it. Get an unlisted phone number? And what else would you suggest? Oh, I don't know. How about a guard? I mean, she's obviously a target, right? Or is that what you intend to do? Leave her out here hanging as bait, exposed? What kind of games are you playing with her life? Nobody's playing games, Mr. Braskin. I think you're probably safe here. After tonight, he's got to be spooked. But if you do decide to move, make sure you let me know. Oh, 
She's, she's just doing her job. Thank God I was here. Are you all right? Yeah. I'm just a little dizzy. Listen, would you mind if I took a shower and stayed here tonight, Ellen? I'll sleep on the couch. That's fine. You sure? Sure. it openly. One. And now you're fully awake. How do you feel? What did I say? You tell me. Nothing new. I can see his eyes. Staring at me through the eye holes as he as he, oh, I can smell his smell. <coughs> what does he smell like? I don't know. It's awful. Like death, rotting animal, evil. Come on, there's got to be more. I love this man. I want to be with him. I'm so ashamed. Self-loathing isn't helpful. You feel what you feel. That's okay. It is. When I end up fearing a man, a, a sweet, caring man that I've come to love? Come on, tell me the truth. What do you really think? Well, I agree. It does seem very far-fetched. But clearly, something is triggering these responses. Whether the scent is all in your head, I can't say. But for your peace of mind and for the sake of your relationship with Jerry, the more you check out this reality, the better. Now, you sure it couldn't be wrong. He has an alibi for a lot of the rapes and for when you got that phone call. It's strange. I don't know whether to feel disappointed or relieved. I wish there was more I could tell you that might help. I wish there was more I could tell you. The fact is, this guy does what he does and he disappears. Even if we had a suspect, we don't have enough evidence to justify a search warrant. Well, what would you search? His house, his car. Looks like he never uses the same one more than once. His person. To take blood for a DNA test, which we can't do without probable cause. Maybe you can help us. How? I've told you everything I can remember. About that smell. You sure it's the same as the rapist? I mean, at the time, I think it is, but then I can't tell if I'm imagining things. You know, like some sort of flashback. What kind of car does Jerry drive? He has a few. Why? Since you've been working with him, have you noticed anything unusual about his behavior? Wait a minute. Are you telling me you think Jerry's a suspect? Well, he does fit the profile. For a burglar, maybe, if you just round up the usual suspects and then discount all the changes he's made in his life. I know this is upsetting to you. Uh, Jerry? A rapist? How? Besides the fact that he's a sweet and generous man. When one of the rapes happened, he was sleeping on my couch. Not to mention getting attacked while defending me. You were there. You saw. Yes. <laughs> what are you implying? That he faked getting peed up? Why would he do that? To impress you? Oh, for God's sake. I slept with the man. Don't you think I'd be able to tell? I don't know. Damn it, Elroy. Didn't I tell you last week to get more wax? Jerry, calm down. Didn't I? Don't tell me to calm down. Now when I've got cars backed up, customers ticked off, and training to do. Go back to work. What about the wax? You get it. Take the truck. Your trunk's not big enough. There's got to be something you can do to calm him down. Well, that should do it. How's things at the shop? Great. Come on down. We'll give you a discount. This might do that. There's something else I can do you for?
Jerry, is that you? Hi. You said any time, so... And uh, I was in the neighborhood. So I said to myself, uh, now is this a perfect opportunity or what? See how this might feel. How what might feel? Living here. And? It's beautiful. You would never know from the outside. Well, that's the idea. Um, this room has cost a fortune. Where are you going? Back to work. Hold on a sec. What? Sit down, please. Jerry. There's something I want to show you. What? <clears throat> what? Jerry, that's beautiful. Or. <laughs> or. Jerry. One's an engagement ring. One's a wedding ring. And the other one's a gift. For our first anniversary. Come on. Just try one on. Please. <sighs> Excellent choice. Give me your hand. I'm gonna ravish you. Maybe you should go back to the police. <laughs> and tell them what? I'm a freak because my lover dresses well. Or that he asked me if I'd like to be ravished. They'd laugh me out of the office. Hell, I would. It's me. I know it's me. It's gotta be me. It's like you said, post-traumatic stress. I can never be with a man like that. A rapist? Much less love him. Make love to him? But what if? What if? I want to love him. But you see, now every time he looks at me or goes to touch me, I shudder. It's not fair. Not to him or me. Am I going crazy? Are you calling me a liar? No, sir. Jerry, this, you're a real... Stay out of this. I told you. Didn't I say it? They'd be sniffing around. Hey, he was just showing me... Showing you how to what? How to like... polish your ass? Jerry, let's take this inside. That's a great idea. You're in charge of personnel. Why don't you take this inside? I've got better things to do. I don't need drunk people working for me. And I sure don't need a sexual harassment suit. Do you understand that? Come on, Claire. Claire, what? Nothing happened, okay? Listen, Ellen, why don't you just marry the guy so he'll lighten up? I swear, Miss Collard, I didn't do nothing. Well, have you been drinking? No, ma'am. All right, may I smell your breath? Is there a reason? Yeah, there's a reason. It smells like buffalo breath. That's what my girlfriend calls it. It's the wax. It gets in your skin and comes out your lungs. But that's what it takes to convince you. I warned you. That's all right, Elroy. You can go back to work. You'll tell Mr. Braskin? I'll tell him. Where are you going? I've got to go home. You want to tell me what you're so upset about today at work? Nothing. Was it me? Does it look like it? Nope. I guess I should explain to you why I fly off the handle sometimes to these guys at work. I don't stay on top of them and they walk all over me. Your friend Clara, you really think she has what it takes to run out the door?
be going home. Please. Did you check the car? It was gone. And even if it wasn't, even if we caught him, even if the guy is guilty as sin and there's no proof that he is, there's still not even probable cause. You know as well as I do what he'd tell us. He was out jogging or he was lying in wait to ambush the rapist. What if I had proof? Ellen, all you saw were footprints. It could have been anybody's. Don't you see? I've got to know. i got to be sure. Or how in the hell am I going to go on with my life? <sighs> all right, what proof? Seaman. Oh, Ellen. You took samples from the other women, too, right? Now you can compare. I need to check out the legalities first. Uh, but if you're asking... Well, you can have a DNA test run. Here's the name of a lab. Call me. And no more playing vigilante. Mm -hmm. Clara, Ellen. <laughs> this is a joke, right? 
That apartment? Those suits? The diamonds? Where do you get the money? I don't know, savings probably. And using a word like radish? Coincidence. Please, Clara. I know. What about the smell? Ellen, listen, how many guys in this city use wax on their cars, really? Assuming that... Assuming what? That I imagined it? Well, it is possible. Don't you think I know that? Ellen, listen to me, I care about you a lot, and I just don't want you to do anything to drive Jerry away. And he's already really upset about Madge accusing him. If he thinks for one second that you suspect him of... I just don't want you to lose him, you know? Because some silly coincidences play into your fear. You know, I'm really sorry. I should never have burdened you with this. No, don't be sorry, Ellen. I'm your friend, you know? My friendly advice is when in doubt, and there is tons of doubt here, Elle, do nothing. We both know he can be a huge pain in the ass, but all things considered, he's still a pretty fabulous guy. I'd love to believe that. Well, then do, Ellen. used repo cars. That's why we could never get an exact vehicle ID. He probably laundered his burglary money through his business. Yeah, by pretending to forget to write receipts. And those calls. He made all those phone calls. That's right. Helen, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't believe you. Hey, he was pretty convincing. But now we've got him in, he'll never get out thanks to you. It's over. Not yet. Why? Why? Because I love you. You don't even know the meaning of the word.
You saw how hard I tried. Mm -hmm. By leaving my bed to go out and rape other women and come back with blood on your hands. Come on. They wanted it. No. Yes, they did. Just like you. No! You raped me. And then you lied and raped me again and again. Say it. You remember? Don't say it. Ravish me. Tell it to the guys in jail. You loved it. You know you loved it. You're gonna miss me! 